We are officially in the Burr months and I am so excited to decorate for fall. In today's video, we are refreshing my patio space for fall and I did one of these videos in the spring and I really love doing that video. I feel like I made my space so cozy and so me and I want to refresh the space now that we are going into a new season, my favorite season. I love fall so much, so I can't wait to turn it into a little oasis for me to sit outside, drink my coffee in the morning, snuggle up in a cozy blanket and read one of my favorite books, and just having a space to relax and take in all that fall has to offer. So back in the spring, I found this super cool garden center and it's really close by to where I live. So I'm thinking I'm going to check them out again now that we are in a new season and see what they have in store because it was a super cute property. I feel like they'll definitely have pumpkins and mums and all the fall flowers. So we're gonna head there first and see what we can find. So I'm planning to take all of our spring and summer herbs out of the leaning ladder planter and making a little hodgepodge of fall foliage, fall flowers, something like that. I have an idea in my head and I'm really excited to see it come to fruition. So that is what we'll be looking out for. And I may even stop at Home Depot to see what kind of flowers they have in stock. And then after finding all of my garden supplies, I want to head over to Target because they have some of the most beautiful fall collections at reasonable prices. And I love the Studio McGee line for Target and the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia line. I love shopping on magnolia.com. They have different pieces that you can't find in Target, but they are at a higher price point, but the quality is definitely there. And it's just one of my favorite places to shop for home decor. And eventually home furniture, once we move into a house, hopefully, fingers crossed soon, we are in the process of house hunting. So hopefully this is one of the last patio refreshes I do here because I would really love to move on to decorating a front porch of a home. I really do dream about that day. So, and then we might hit up home goods. That's another good place for seasonal decor. So we'll probably make our way over there as well. So I think that's all of the places I plan on going to today to find my inspiration. But my goal is to not go overboard. I don't want to spend a whole lot of money. I may even reuse some things that I already have. So let's go ahead and head over to the garden center. So we just finished at our last stop and we were able to find so many delightful goodies so I'm excited to share with you guys. There were still a lot of good things in stock but I decided against pumpkins this year. Um, they had a ton of beautiful pumpkins at the garden center but they were quite expensive so I think one of the pumpkins that I looked at was 20 bucks and if I had to get multiple I just feel like in a way it would be a huge waste of money because you can't really keep them or reuse them for the next year so i changed my mind and i decided to look for some faux pumpkins so i was able to find some at home goods that look pretty realistic so i'm excited to use those and i hope that they hold up with the outside exposure to sun and rain and all of that but they looked really nice and they were way less expensive. So that is what we're doing with the pumpkins this year. Hopefully next year when we're in a home, I won't feel like 
buying pumpkins will be a waste because I love pumpkins so much. I think they're beautiful and they just bring me so much joy, but just for the time being in a small space, I don't want it to be too cluttered with things. So I just got, I think three faux pumpkins. So I'll show you guys those when we start decorating but we're gonna go ahead and head back home now. So I really liked these black flowers. They're actually like a really dark purple, but they look black. Um, these are violas and they are the Sorbet Black Delight. And I just think they're super cute, very minimal, but can go really well for September into October as well for spooky season. And then I went to Michael's and I checked out their faux florals and I thought this would look really pretty inside of my fall wreath. So I'm just going to deconstruct this and add little pops to add some more character to my wreath. And then I picked up some of this faux moss. So this is faux gray moss that I picked up. It's plastic, so it'll last really well outside. And I thought it would be like a cute touch to add to the flower arrangements. And then over here, I got some ivy. <laughs> it's funny because when we were checking out the lady was like you gotta be careful this is gonna grow everywhere but we have it in a contained container and we don't plan on letting it go crazy so i thought that would add like a nice whimsical touch and then i picked up these beautiful burgundy red plants here and this is what they are and I tried picking up flowers and plants that were um, good in shade because we really don't get a lot of sunlight back here. And then to complete this arrangement, I picked these up. These are Huchura, I think that's how you pronounce it, but I just really love the colors in those. Very fall-esque. I plan on putting everything in this container. We had herbs in here in the spring and summer and they actually didn't grow too big. They didn't do so well because we don't get much sun back here. So that was a failed mission, but it still looked really cute. I also picked up these mums in the red color. I thought they were really pretty. So I plan on putting those in that gray pot. Not sure if I plan on putting anything in those, but um, also picked up some of these faux pumpkins from Home Goods earlier. Let's go ahead and start on planting everything. This is what we're working with. I went through and planted all of the flowers and plants in the ladder here. And I think I like this look the best. I had them kind of tilted at an angle so that they showed more. Otherwise, you wouldn't really be able to see them. But I'm not sure how well this is going to last because I did not follow the directions. It stated to put these violas six to eight inches apart and I definitely did not do that because um, I wanted it to look more full so I had to put them pretty close together but honestly as long as it stays looking like this for a couple months I'll be happy with that but I really like the look I think it's super whimsical and very fall but I'm thinking of adding some of this moss in there I don't know I just think it might add a little something extra so we'll play around with this and um, see how that looks so We're gonna move on to the wreath that's hanging on the door behind me. I picked this up at Target earlier and I love it. It's from Studio McGee with Target. So I really wanted the McGee & Co wreath that looked very similar to this one, but it was just too expensive. So I picked up the $30 wreath from Target and I'm going to add these flowers that I picked up from Michaels earlier because these look identical to the ones on the McGee & Co wreath. I'm just gonna take these and cut them into smaller, sizes and then just place them throughout my wreath. Okay, 
it looks so good you guys it looks very identical to the Miggy and Co wreath and the little picks went in perfectly into the grapevine here and it looks so much nicer than how it was and it was like such a little simple DIY so love how that turned out to the planting situation I do have a couple flowers left to have four of the violas here one of the ivy and i have three small pots so i'm gonna go ahead and plant everything here just so i can get this all cleaned up Appalachian sunrise meets my skin even with my eyes still closed i can feel it coming in golden golden i'll follow only golden like that we are all finished with our fall patio refresh it looks so cozy i love all of the autumnal colors and i can't wait to sit out here a little later and have some hot tea and wind down for the evening <laughs> Starlight sky, our love secret line, like leaves we soar so high. Beneath the moonlight, self touch your hand in mine, gets me every time. 